still warm. He's here, all right. Noted. Anything else I should look at before I go in? Anything else I should be aware of? No? Alrighty then. Of course. I'll bust open the door. I'll give I didn't even bust open the door, I just bust open the lock. That ain't shit. Beckages. So this is where they've been sending these. Sure looks that way. Knock, knock. Mr. Wolf in the house. Big B Wolf. Bitch. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. Mm hmm. Being snow. Faith, someone, and someone. I'm guessing that's Narissa? I'm guessing that's Lily. Snow and Holly, me and Faith, me, Faith and me, Faith and Narissa. Or is that Lily? Now it looks like Faith. It looks like the same top that she's wearing there. Yeah, that's Faith. What happened between Faith and Narissa? Interesting. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere. Small shivering bodies would fit. Yeah, okay, where are you going with this, huh? You just doing all this just so you can come back and say, oh, you ain't shit? Come on, say it to my face then. Say, say it with your chest, bitch. Silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. Yeah, they've been planning to take me down. Ouch, that was my face. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Thank you. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Where's yours, bitch? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? You think I give a fuck about my mom? Let's dance or Oh come on. Is that the best you can do? Yes. Fuck you. Goddamn shifty teleporty bitch. Fancy bitch. Yeah, I, I ain't going to go the direction she went. She wants me to follow her to the same exact point. No, 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 no. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm sure this is gonna work out wonderfully. Getting caught in a tight space like this, I'm sure this is going to be no issue at all. Ouch, that was my face. I did not have any time at all to press that button. Fuck you, game. Anyway, <laughs> onward we go. Yeah, let's dance. And... Ouch. Of course I have to fight the bitch that's made out of glass. Painful. Can we don't? Get off me. Pointy bitch. Big boy status. Mm-hmm. Let's fucking go. I'll take on hundreds of you bitches. I'm a big bad wolf, goddammit. One at a time, let's go. Ouch! Out of my fucking ribs, bitch. No! Eat shit. Ow! Off me. Off me. Now it's time. Full wolf. Yes. Yes. Get fucked, Hor. Yeehaw. Can't ride this puppy. Fuck you. I think the fucking bar's gonna stop me. Who's next, huh? Let's go. I said I'd take on all you fucks and I meant it. Bring out all the clones you want. Fuck them. And he huffed. And he puffed. Blew them bitches down. Just one left, Hork. Get fucked. God, I 
fucking love that part. I really do. Watching the mans go full wolf. Ugh. It's great. Oh. How convenient. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Go Give fuck me yourself. One good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. Mm -hmm. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. I mean, I haven't killed you yet. There's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. You're the one with a gun in my face. Coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. Right. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. But you asked I to have them killed. That. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Justice. This case is concerned with you. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. No, have you I? really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. I go suck a Somewhere. dick. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. I do mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Shut You're the fuck arrest. up. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. He's purposely trying to provoke me so I do something and stupid to make him look better in front of the crowd. Nice try, jackass. Let's see, he will be put before a crowd, alright? And he will try to weasel his way out of it. And you know what? If I would have done anything to him, he'd be like, Look at look what he did to me. You you trust this man? I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. 
you okay? Fine, okay. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the crooked man's place. Well, no, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. Oh, and we you will. Did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Define one piece. I'm sure there's it's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where the yourself? fuck do you get off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking to crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Asshole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. By all means. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't. I would be allowed to speak. We I have said, to read the rest you. of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. Punk bitch. <clears throat> we run this shit, you not you. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community. Including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Facts. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing A monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <laughs> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. You can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where house. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it But we promised you a chance to defend yourself. Did and I? I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly. Even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. Go on. You have the floor. But not seal Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. Bullshit. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. Why would he do that? I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. But Any you did. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? 
Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. It's true. Yeah, that doesn't justify it. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Facts. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. Oh, sure. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give. Oh, because that makes it all so much better, right? Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? What about her? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamorous. Yeah, and I kept her tree alive, because didn't I? I helped her. She was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. We. I've made some mistakes. Yeah, I was gonna say, you better correct that but shit. believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. Large facts. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. Facts. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister. But I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's 
history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Oh, yes. God. Of course. Whatever you're getting at, get to it. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions? What actions? Well? Why? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? That was Blackbeard, not he me. He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Big facts. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, sure. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must... What behavior? This mine. is completely different. I we all... I did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Bullshit. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own... What crimes? crimes? Right. Oh, what crimes? Please. What crimes? This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to... to this is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We mm. lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? What brutality? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be Bigby? Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder. she doing here? Shut up. Let her speak. I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Hell yeah. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say you're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Hell Georgie yeah. would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me. Me too. 
So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Hell no, yeah. That's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. Is that so? So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Thank you. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. I don't care. So we get rid of him. It's too dangerous. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Listening. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? Yes. He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Alrighty. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Oh, shit. Between us, I was gonna let you live, but now you're going to miss me. No, I won't. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was one of the weakest fucking shouts I've ever heard. Just ah! for Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Mm hmm One day later. Hey, Sheriff. What's up, my boy? Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Hell yeah. That's my boy. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. Okay. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Well, then. <clears throat> Someone's gonna see you, Colin.
And then you're just gonna hear, what the fuck? No? Okay. I mean, who am I seeing off to the farm, though? Oh. The toads still get sent away. Oh, golly! Jesus! We only have, like, five minutes. And carry me, for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Mm-hmm. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You like promised it. me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I, I had said to go I up would to try. the farm anyway. I didn't promise shit. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Oh, that was the bug. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Quote unquote nice. Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? <laughs> I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Damn, I almost thought I could do something. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Yeah. Oh shit, I actually got all the Saying goodbye. entries. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You, uh, you're still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Why? It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. I'm listening. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. Mm -hmm. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? And that's the so whole thing I in motion. told him everything. 
and I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Could he have, though? Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he... Did, he Bigby doesn't really do, like, comforting. Most people tend to, like... I don't know what Back happened, away. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I mean... I guess... Uh, it's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. I mean, I'm cool Especially after... That night, after Faith... I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. True enough. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Of course not. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. If you say so. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Large factuals. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You're welcome. You knew when to show mercy. Mm -hmm. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Of course from where You've you're been standing. given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. If you say so. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Mm-hmm. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around.
Mm. I both love and hate that ending. It's a good ending, but I just, ugh, fucking bothers me. I mean, I feel really bad for the people who are, like, diehard fans of this game, and they waited for years for a sequel, then a sequel got announced, and then the fucking developers went bankrupt. <laughs> I mean, I think Telltale has restarted. Like, I don't know the specifics behind it, but they are back doing things again. I don't know the specifics behind it, but they are still working on The Wolf Among Us Season 2, I believe, is the official story as it stands right now. But, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, that ending, that ending was something, it, mm. like, I don't mind them leaving the ending open-ended for the sake of, like, you know, having the possibility of a sequel, I don't mind that, it's just the fact that it raises so many more questions than it does answers. And I don't like that. I don't like being left with a bunch of questions at the end of a game. Like, I don't mind thinking, oh, that's neat. What's gonna, I wonder what's going to happen next. I'm, a, I'm interested in a sequel. But sitting here wondering, like, well, now I have all these questions that I just, now I don't, that I know I won't get answers to. And it's not, it's just, ugh, the ending has just never sat right with me. Even watching it back, I appreciate it a bit more now, I will say that. But it's just, it still doesn't sit right with me. I mean, I don't know, honestly, what I expected. I don't know what could have been done to make it better for me. I don't know. But I just, uh, the ending just does not sit right with me. I really, I really did not like it the first time I played it. The first time I played it and I, and I got to the end, it just kind of, huh. Just, I, I was really upset with it. Nowadays, I'm not as upset with it. I'm just, ugh. I just don't like it. I don't like that ending very much. But anyway, choices. We left Georgie to die. It looks like the majority spared him. I had my reasons. Did we give him the trial? The majority gave him the trial. How did you punish him? The majority threw him down the well. I'm pretty sure that's the majority. Ma or maybe the majority locked him up. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the minority fucking killed him, though. Yeah, the majority accepted TJ's gift for Snow. You'd have to be an absolute asshole not to do that. And then you and the majority said, I hope I've done some good here. That's it. Wait, get ready for the loud fucking... Oh, no? Oh, special stats. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You help him to avoid the farm. Crooked man, you took him back to the witching well, you tossed him down the witching well. Deceased. D, you confiscated D's money while he was in custody. Yeah, that's probably the one part where I fucked up, still. Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. Deceased. Georgie, you left him to die. Like, he was gonna die no matter what. <laughs> Gren, you drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. Lawrence, you went to his place first. Deceased, I... Probably could have saved him. Nerissa, you gave her a cigarette during your final conversation. Yes. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You promised to bring the crooked man back alive, and I did. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. Yes. TJ, you accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. Yes. Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. Fat load of good that did me. There's the noises I was waiting for. Continue the story. Pick up a graphic novel today. No thanks. So yeah, there you have it. The end I'll be on. God, that one was barely over an hour either. I did not realize the episodes to the, to the Wolf Among Us were so fucking short. Like, normally with like Telltale games, they usually run like an hour and a half to two hours, somewhere around there. Like, these ones are barely pushing an hour. That's honestly kind of surprising. I didn't realize the game was that short. But, fuck it, it was. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of The Wolf Among Us. It's, that's the thing, the ending isn't satisfying. I don't think it's a bad ending, but it's a very unsatisfying ending. 
Like, it just... Too much shit is left unresolved, and I just don't like it. And the thing is, they waited so long to set it up for a sequel, too. It's like, you could tell they very clearly wanted to set up a sequel with this game, but instead they gave sequels to so many other games. Like, this came out around the same time... The episodes for this were being released uh, at the same time that episodes for The Walking Dead Season 2 was being released. So we already knew Telltale was willing to do sequels, because this was releasing alongside a sequel. And then, like, they very clearly, very clearly wanted to set up a sequel. And this game had a very prominent fan base. Like, if you looked at any kind of post, any social media post that Telltale ever put out, after this game finished, like, from that point all, all the way up to the fucking present day, until they announced the sequel, it, there was just constantly people asking, begging for a sequel, saying the game needed it. And instead, you know, they gave sequels to fucking Minecraft Story Mode, the Batman series, two more sequels to The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead ones don't surprise me, because that was Telltale's big cash cow, and obviously I'm not disappointed with those, it's some of my favorite games ever. I love those games, but... Like, with Minecraft Story Mode, they waited less than a year after the fi after the eighth episode came out, and then the first episode of Season 2 of Minecraft Story Mode came out. And that one wasn't left with, like, a cliffhanger-type ending. That one was just like, oh, we just went on to have adventures, blah de blah de blah And I don't think it really got that big of a fucking fan base that I saw anyway. Like, I enjoyed Minecraft Story Mode Season 1. I really enjoyed it, but I didn't see like the huge outpouring of yo know, fans asking for more. Like they got more. You not only got five episodes, but then Telltale gave you five bonus episodes along with it. <laughs> like yo, know, that the fans of the Minecraft series definitely got more shit. And then less than a year later, you're getting season two, episode one. Meanwhile, Wolf Among Us fans are sitting here, their game clearly set up for a sequel, not getting anything. Then you have the Batman series. And I don't remember how the first Batman game ended. It was, it, if I remember correctly, it wasn't very much of a cliffhanger ending. I know I played that one, but it wasn't like something to where I was like, oh shit, a sequel. I didn't play the entire sequel, I just never found the time. Not because it was bad, I just never actually found the time to finish it. Who knows, maybe in the future, wink wink. But, um... It's just... Ugh. They gave sequels to so many other games. Well, not so many other, but to all these other games, when this game was clearly set up for a sequel, and had a very prominent fan base, who were just... more... Who were clearly more than willing to who've clearly showed that they supported this game and were going to be willing to get a sequel should one be released. There was an obvious demand, that's what I'm trying to say. There was an obvious demand for a sequel to this game and they just never did it, which is so fucking stupid. Uh, I mean, and the biggest reason is that Telltale just constantly reached for these, yo, big name IPs. Yo, they made a Game of Thrones game. They made a Minecraft game. Yo, Batman. These really big names that kind of everyone knows about even if not like a diehard fan of them you know about it like i've never seen a full episode of game of thrones i know what the fuck game of Thrones is you know i know i know about these things and like you've probably like some people they've never played minecraft before but they know what it is some people aren't like diet don't watch superhero movies but they know who batman is you know they reach for Telltale reached for these big name IPs to try to draw in big numbers, but like, they're actual games that, you know, sure, The Wolf Among Us and The Fable series probably didn't draw in big numbers, but like, it had a very prominent fan base, and it's just, it's so disappointing to see what happened to it, it really is. I think more than anything, that's what's really fucking, like, back then, I didn't like the ending as much, probably because six years ago, I just wasn't much for cliffhanger endings. But nowadays, what makes that ending so bad is knowing that, yo, know, they had ample opportunity to make a sequel for this game, and they just didn't. Instead, they'd rather divulge their resources to other things, which ended up not working for them, as we clearly saw. So, it's... 
yo, it's nice to see that now that Telltale is starting up again, they're actually focusing on doing shit on... They're focusing on the one thing that their fans truly wanted. <laughs> Ugh. But anyway, I've ranted long enough about it. Overall, I think this was a good game. I, I didn't realize how short it was, but I still think it was a very good game. I very much enjoyed it. And whenever the sequel comes around, who knows? Who knows when that's going to be? It was slated for next year. I think they were planning like early 2021. That's more than obviously out the window as Telltale's been fucking out of business for quite a while. <laughs> uh, but like I said, regardless, going to end this one here. Thank you to anyone who watched. It's all much appreciated. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next playthrough of whatever it is I decide to play next. But until then, peace.